one million for million days here with my last was Star Wars The Force Awakens Construction Review. And this one is on First Order Stormtrooper and Kylo Ren. So first off with the boxes, like always, we got Lego logo, Star Wars logo, and picture of the set that comes within. And the Disney logo, buildable figures logo, and the age group, set number, the name, and the amount of pieces. Look at the back. See logos again, and the size of the set, and the different picture of each one, and showing what they can do, and add for the other ones, and yeah. And now on to with First Order Stormtrooper. Which is a really neat, quite nice one. Is the like the back of the legs here, which had that same thing as Poe Dameron and Finn once had. Which is kind of nice. And there's also, and of course, a couple of holster like pieces. Just like the other, some of the others did have. And the same torso piece as uh, Finn and uh, Captain Phasma did have. And just plate, just like the others, but some alright printing to it. And had some like shoulder pieces, or shoulder guard pieces, but in white, which is quite nice. And the back, nothing much, but same thing as Captain Phasma had, but uh, yeah. Probably as acting as the ports of the armor or something. And then the helmet piece here, which really captures the first order stormtrooper. And, uh, yeah. Oh, and a little neat thing that you can do is if you have the, the Finn one, is you can swap out this head with Finn's head. So you got Finn in his stormtrooper outfit. And, and uh, and the blaster, which is just about the same as the other ones, but they said also this little thing that comes down in front of it, just like Captain Phasma's. Not much to say about it, but I can easily. <coughs> Bless me. But I can already see that. Some are probably going to be wanting multiples of this set to do some, like, army building, just like the minifigures. And, uh, obviously, of course, for Bionicle mocking, or mocking and so on. And the... And now to the best one of all, Kylo Ren. Which is really, really cool. So the legs, which are just about the same as most of the other ones, like the uh, jaw beast pieces there, and more of the friction joints there, and also a foot filler, which First Order Stormtrooper could have had, but that's alright. And we get on the chest plate is, you can see there's another unique cloth piece as, as the front part of his cloak, and... If you can tell, as you can see, it's pretty well intricate. But, but with the Bionicle 2015 gearbox piece and this other back piece, like what Finn and Ray had, which is really cool, which I think is kind of cool. So it doesn't leave this piece exposed, which is good. And to on with the back is. You can see it has those like back guard pieces, just like what Darth Vader one did have, with and the same exact cape like piece that Darth Vader and Obi Wan Kenobi did have. But it's put to some good use to it, is or I mean maybe it's a different one. Yeah, it's a different one. Yeah, they had two holes in the front, but this one did doesn't. But yeah. But also, a good thing with this one is that it has a hole right there to make room for this gear. You guys slash which is neat. And then, 
pattern for the arms, which have the same exact shoulder pieces, but in black, which is great, which is good for black walking and so on. And the lightsaber, which I think is probably the best part, is has the same exact thing that most of the 2016 Bionicle sets had. And also, and same exact piece, lightsaber piece as as Darth Vader, and it really captures uh, Kylo Ren's lightsaber. And uh, also to point out, oh whoops, also in the body is, you can see there's like two of those like ball joint pieces, but like why is that? But well, should have used one of those uh, other kind of pieces just for him. So, which would have been much better, so at least they're not fully exposed. And then, so the headpiece here, I think, is one of the best parts. See, it truly captures Kylo Ren. And, like, this Kylo like part, and a few scratch marks that are just printed on. And, so, and also a couple of dents here and there, which is great. Pretty good. So, and this one, I think, here is just awesome. I think I and many are probably going crazy for him, just like Darth Vader. Yeah. So for my now to the overall verdict on these two, last two sets. Of, uh, so my overall verdict on these sets is that I think they are pretty good sets. That Kylo Ren, a great one from the main antagonist of the film, and and for the first one, Stormtrooper, I think is a decent one. So if I like come across another one for like a good deal or whatever, probably go for it. And if you're like looking for some of that, for some decent characters of First Awake or Force Awakens, then go for these two. And then and to conclude the Force Awakens set review. Or construction set reviews. Here we got all the other ones in their order. So, for the light side is Ray, Finn, and Poe Dameron. And from the dark side, which is Captain Phasma, First Order Stormtrooper, and Kylo Ren. And they're just plain out awesome. But also, and of course, for The Force Awakens, a good step up from the last from 2015's uh, Star Wars construction line, and yeah. And I think the best ones were probably you know, First Order Stormtrooper and Kylo Ren, but also a bit of Rey and Finn there being the main stars of the film, and yeah. And so I guess that concludes this review, and we we'll look forward to the next wave, which is uh, pretty soon. Summer, I don't know. Whenever it is, look forward to what they got available. And that's about it with this review. And thanks for watching, and bye-bye.